Yo, what up? It's, it's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. Um, shout out to the Demon X Mike in the community for throwing that awesome tournament. Um, we we had a blast. I wish you guys, I, whoever didn't make it, I wish y'all would have at least caught it. I'm going to throw those clips on YouTube, uh, just like the other one, even though I never finished the first tournament. <laughs> but I'm going to keep throwing, I'm going to throw the rest on there too. Hopefully, Sunday, I'm just going to go through and like try to upload as many as I can and hopefully have them up in within two weeks um but yeah um i wanted to make this video for squall bg i think his name was yeah yeah squall bg he wanted to see uh i guess he wanted more details on my melee build um and i kind of just switched it around i kind of made it a little bit uh better in my opinion and this may not be like the the go-to perfect build or whatever but I'll just show you guys a little of my stuff. He wanted to see my mods and stuff, but to be honest, I'm lazy as hell, and I don't have that many mods because I don't like farming. And I also have to farm on PC, and I literally just unlocked Mirage, and I haven't played since. I was PvPing with the PC community without Mirage. Where, where am I going right now? But yeah, so actually first let me go let me show you my armor pieces first. Before I even go into the factory. So armor. Long sword. Long sword helmet is the most used helmet in the game. The the uh sight on it takes up like damn near the whole screen. Um I don't even know what mods are on this thing right now. These are whatever mods I had on it before or as soon as I got it. But yeah, mod screen, er, long sword, probably overall most used helmet in the game. Good defense, not too heavy. Uh, lock on time is not too bad. Lock on range is pretty good for, especially for as big as the freaking site is. Um, it's a square box, so again, it takes up most of the screen. Body, uh, hecaton cheer. Uh, right now I got Mark twos, so I'm a little, it's a little bit faster than normal. Um, the defense on it right now, oh, and this, this isn't the fastest, but, um, I think melee builds should be around 18 K flight boost speed and up, but, um, you don't need to be this fast and, but you could be faster if you want it. I think the faster, the better, but 20 K is a pretty good flight boost speed to be around especially with melee builds and but i i chose to get a little bit more defense and health out of it so i use the head of conch here I, if i modded these out i could be a little bit faster these aren't modded out so yeah if i use flash phantom right a lot of people say flash phantom sucks but i just use it for speed <laughs> if i want to go fast i go to flash phantom um but yeah, if I modded the Mumes out on the Muramazas, I'd probably be a little bit faster than the Hecaton Cheers. Hecaton Cheers, however you say that shit. <laughs> but um, I actually like how this looks a lot too. And again, I really like the uh, the health I get from it, the health benefit. Um, I don't know how much it adds. Let me see how much it adds compared to Flash Phantom. So compared to Flash Phantom, I dropped the 27. And this has me at 29. And that's with just flight boost mods. I could probably... With this, if I wanted to, I could probably sacrifice a little bit of the speed if I wanted to and go more defense with the mods. Or I could just make it go faster with even more builds. But that's what I got for now. Uh, processor, always boost up. I This is my go-to. Boost up three is usually my go-to just for the extra speed. I'll switch it around every once in a while to firing up and memory up depending on my build and what I'm trying to do. But for the most part, especially for melee builds, boost up. Um, I honestly just switched to the Siegfried arms. Um, they have really good VP, really good defense. I was using the Zaruk, the Zaruk Rock, and uh, this these have better melee performance. 
But with Ant Fingers, you don't really need melee performance. So I just I drop those in in less shooting support too. But again, I'm used this is a melee build. So what do I need reload support, precision support, and shot delay support for? So I dropped these and picked up the Siegfrieds. Um again, a lot more health between both of the arms. Just losing going back to Zerug World Arms. I lose uh, almost 3,000 health, and look at that defense. Defense drops a little bit, not too much. Um, a little bit more laser defense on the Zero Grab, but to be honest, I think more people use um, bullet weapons more often anyways, so I usually go for a bullet. Though, you got to be careful for those ugly envies. Ugly envies are pretty hot right now. So, and again, I could probably boost a lot of the stats between mods. This is unmodded and it only has one slot. Um, left arm, same thing. I had the Siegfried. Again, same thing. I, I get almost 3,000 health out of it. A little bit more defense. Um, less of a lock on time. Um, and then I'm not, I'm not really worried about... Oh, and the Zook World's a little bit heavier. So I get a little bit more speed out of these two, at least on the land. So, and these have throwing support, throwing performance, which I don't think does anything <laughs> for me. Uh, maybe if I use the grenades or something. But, and I think they also boost on our melee damage, but whatever. And again, with mods, I could probably boost these and make them uh, a little bit lighter or stronger or whatever. And then legs, I just switched to the halberd legs um, for the defense. I was rocking the Zeruk Weiss legs. Um, Zeruk Weiss, Weiss legs are still really good. Um, again, uh, this was a little bit more uh, ground speed, uh, more VP, and a little bit more defense in some other areas. So I went to the Halberd. Plus, I think they look cooler. Though I do like how these look. <laughs> these look cooler to me. Also three slots. And I don't have slots on these right now. If I put slots, they'll probably be even better. So so in terms of slots, what I would use. Oh, weapons. Of course, I'm using Anfangs. If you're making a melee build, use Anfangs. The only difference I would do... And I'm going to show you guys when I get to the mods with my Anfangs. Right now, I just have, um, I think, the speed, attack speed higher just because I had them. But I will put damage mods on all on your Anfangs. Um, I don't want to go. Actually, I want to save this because I just made this. He will still be Scyther. I'll change his name later. So, I want to go to the factory and show you guys what I would mod this with. So, I'll do Anfangs first because it'll be the same for both of them. Wait, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong factory. So... This one has a Mark IV on it, so that's exactly what I'll, I'll probably leave it as that. Melee. See, I have the dash accelerators, and these just kind of make you go faster when you're in the middle of the dash, but it's not all that. I would go straight for damage. You lose a little bit of the distance, but the distance is so stupid on Anfangs that you could you can sacrifice some of the distance, so we ain't tripping. What's the other air things? Take all those off. See, and I, if I farm more, I would go straight 
straight up, I would just go performance mark fives. But since I'm trash at farming, and then if I look through my equipment, I might even have some. Maybe not. Looks like I don't, but definitely go straight up Mark Five damage. Um, I'm pretty sure you get them through exploration mode through loot. So straight up, just go get uh, Mark Five. Mark Five for longsword. What I notice a lot of people are doing. And I thought I had a three slot long, long sword, but I guess I don't. Well, I, I don't see most people just making their sight magnifier even bigger. Yeah, it uses a month memory, but now you literally have the whole screen. Um, Personally, I would probably go for none of these resistances. For one, mm, defense maybe I would think about defense, but I'd probably just go straight memory. People say your overall memory usage I think also affects like your stamina and your lock on time a little bit. Um, so I think I see a lot of people just throw on memory when they have the chance. Um, these I probably just, I'm going to uninstall it and probably put it back on just to look at the other mods, but I would probably keep the, yeah, if, if, if any of these reboot times, don't even pay attention to those. Knockdown resistance is trash. I probably just keep one of the Mark IV um, flight performance, so I'm a little bit faster. That's just the way to go. I'd probably put speed, especially with melee builds, because you don't have to really worry about memory, so you might as well just go straight, straight up. Um. Speed. Someone said you can get these slotted, but I ain't never seen it in my life. So y'all let me know if y'all seen these slotted. See, for the arms, I'd probably, again, do the same thing. I'd probably go straight up. Yo, I see, I've been seeing the Japanese players use this. I don't know if this does anything. I'm going to throw it on there anyways. We're going to test it after. Some, I'm starting to think throwing performance might affect melee damage, but I don't think it does. Oh, maybe it was the torques. Is it proportion, propulsion or torque? I'm gonna put torque on the other one. But I don't think these are very important, to be honest. Like, I don't think you... I honestly don't think attachments will make or break you. I think they definitely help. And if you're going against somebody who definitely has all their stuff modded out with attachments, they definitely do have a little bit of an advantage of you. But to be honest, I haven't met... Everyone I, I think I've played hasn't won because of the attachments. They either beat me because they had a, just a better build or they were just better than me. I don't think anybody has beat me just because their attachments were better. I actually don't think, I think they help, but I don't think they're that big of a difference. Um, for legs, honestly, legs, I probably just throw memory on there. And then definitely farm again. 
Um, I like to push the community to like experiment and figure out what they got. Um, I don't think jump performance is worth it, but figure out stuff on their own. And I haven't really messed with mods too much because again, I'm a lazy player and I just don't have the time. But um, other other people might tell you different. They might tell you everything I just did was stupid. But I can tell you this much. This build, just armor and weapons wise, is a good melee build. Um, you should do pretty well with this build overall. You have almost, I do really good with 20,000 health and now I have 29, 29,000 health. I don't remember how much defense I had, but again, this build will, is probably a solid melee build. Um, even if I doubt they get much better. Again, though, someone might prove me wrong, but I doubt it gets much better. So we're going to go one shot astray one time, and we're going to end the video. Also, man, you just blink. Six thousand damage, and you probably hit. I feel like these things have high defense, so you probably hit somebody, somebody else harder. I hit somebody for fourteen k with the um, with the um, the legendary so swords, Dan Sliff and Iron Knight, and I've been seeing a lot of videos, especially with Japanese players, um, <laughs> hit for like crazy numbers, <laughs> like like twenty thousand damage so i think it really depends on the other person's defense but again with this build you're gonna uh, you'll do fine just do hit run tactics get in get out that's why that's another reason not to um i would never like spec for melee pro performance especially for the anfangs because the um the animations are already so fat the delay on them is already so fast so once you hit you just boost and get out of there And then look at the dash on them. The dash is retarded. They shouldn't. And and the dash is even less now because I uh, put the mods on them. So it's usually longer than this. I didn't one shot on that time. That's weird. Look, he did like no damage to me. I just want to kill you. No lie, there is a there is a bit of a difference, and I'm sure I'll get used to it between the um, dash because before I modded them, it was like 150 distance, so from here I'd get to like 250 I think. Now I'm only at like 300, so it's only 100. So I did lose some of my dash range, but again, like you don't. I do really good with just the Arendite, <laughs> and um, uh, of course I go further because one of them have more mods than the other. But still, the range is really good on these. So I, again, I would just go straight damage mods with these. But that's it. I'm in the video here. Um, this probably went way too long, like always. But um, I'm gonna make sure I comment. To the community and i want them to give their advice and their tips because you guys are always asking me and to be honest i learned most of my stuff from experimenting and listening to the community um because they a lot of them will go in and dissect the game and um there's a lot of things that damon x machina does not tell you in black and white and you kind of just have to find out the hard way um we literally just had a build. Somebody literally just made a build yesterday that made, or in the tournament, that made grenades viable in PvP. So, <laughs> if you would have asked me a week ago, I would not think grenades were viable in PvP. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, I get to show you guys um, those videos soon. Um, if y'all don't want to wait, they're on my Twitch.
Um, there were two days for the tournament, um, Saturday and Sunday, but I will be uploading those clips um, by match in the upcoming week. Hopefully I'll get started on those Sunday. Actually, I still need to upload the final fight for the first tournament. <laughs> but after I do that, um, all the other ones are for uh, the second tournament we just did. But yeah, you guys take it easy. I'm out. Deuces.